And as Nigeria celebrates 61 years of independence, the country battles terrorism, which began with Boko Haram in Borno State. It is spread across the country and is multifaceted with different groups operating, either members of Boko Haram, ISWAP, or bandits. Plus TV Africa's Destiny Momo takes us through the history and impact of terrorism in Nigeria. Boko Haram literally translates to Western education is a sacrilege. In Nigeria, the group known by the name started in Madogori, the capital of Baranu State, as an Islamist sectarian movement in 2002. Its founder, Muhammad Yusuf, was a civil servant who believed in strict application of Islamic law. The Boko Haram are a group of intellectuals, educated and um, uh, highly qualified professionals among the doctors, pharmacists, engineers, uh, by category of civil engineers, chemical engineers, metallurgical engineers, uh, chemistry, physics, biologists, and um, other medical and uh, non-medical scientists, social scientists, and uh, they are well versed in Islamic knowledge. Boko Haram blamed Western influences for Nigeria's culture of corruption, as well as the wide gap between the few rich and the many poor. In 2009, a clash between Boko Haram and the military led to the death of hundreds in Borno State. Yusuf was transferred to police custody where he was summarily executed outside the police headquarters in Maiduguri. His successor, Abubakar Shekau, vowed to avenge his death, leading to attacks, first on security personnel and formations, and then on soft targets. Former President Umar Musa Yaradua and Goodluck Jonathan's government suffered intense insecurity under Boko Haram's reign of terror. The group occupied territory in northeast Nigeria and carried out its most daring attack on the United Nations office in Abuja. It was a bombing that left 23 people dead and 116 injured. The 2014 kidnapping of 276 girls from a school in Chibok was also a low point in Boko Haram's reign of terror. In the same year, it pledged allegiance to the Islamic State in Iraq and took the name Islamic State West Africa Province, ISWAP. The next year, the group split with one faction retaining that name and the other reverting back to Boko Haram. Today, insecurity is rife across Nigeria, with ISWAP committing crimes in the northeast and bandits holding sway in the northwest. Kidnappings have become too common across the northeast, the northwest, and even the north central. Worse kidnappings than that of Chibok have taken place in Nigeria secondary schools. SPM Intelligence estimates no fewer than 1,409 students were kidnapped from their schools between March 2020 and October this year. In the 19 incidents up until the latest kidnapping in Zamfara State, 17 teachers have also been kidnapped alongside their students and at least 220 million naira has been paid out as ransoms. Not a few Nigerians have been worried with news of repentant members of Boko Haram being reintegrated into society. Now, the only reason why the Boko Haram is giving up in droves and, you know, surrendering and trying to go for some program to join the Nigerian army and all that and all that is simply because the backbone, the Boko Haram has been defunded. The Boko Haram is being hunted down by the people who created it in the first place. The Boko Haram would rather surrender to the Nigerian army than surrender to the ISWAP, which is the equivalent of ISIS. 
Uh, we must have a serious government that is ready to fight corruption in the cycle of the security operations. Because the amount of uh, para, uh, corruption is really uh, militating and making it very, very difficult to manage the security situation we have in the country. And um, three, uh, we also need to go back and see how we can reorient the, the public, the Nigerian citizens, and the Nigerian security operatives. Insecurity in Nigeria has caused a lot of harm. The education of millions of children have been affected. Nigeria has one of the highest number of internally displaced persons in the world, and farmers in some parts of the country have become afraid to go to their farms. Even some soldiers have become demoralized and often spoken out publicly. But the Nigerian government is continually assured that it is committed to keeping the country secure. Destiny Momo for Plus TV Africa. Thanks to Destiny Momo for that report. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.